Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing what's gonna happen for you in the month of August. So I have my charms, I've got my dice, we're fully equipped today, okay? And I'm also gonna be putting some crystals on the cards. So, so today, as usual, we have group number one, two, three, and four, if you would like to choose a group now. I'm also going to be putting the crystals on. So let's put the crystals on now. So we have group number one with the blue gold stone, group two with the rose quartz, group three with jade, and group four with the amethyst, so choose now. And let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and for being here. We have the beautiful blue gold stone. I freaking love this crystal. I'm just gonna do a little close up because it's so damn pretty. Like, can we just appreciate, ah, so pretty. Okay, <laughs> so let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on with you in the month of August. So starting off with the first card, we have patience, okie dokie. So <clears throat> here's the tea. I was actually gonna do a love reading today but it came out with this card and they said, no, do August. And I was like, okay. So in terms of your love life, as well as August, patience is a freaking virtue. Okay, patience is very important right now in terms of what you actually want. And I feel like with patience, it's sometimes it fluctuates. So sometimes you're in, sometimes you're out, sometimes you shake it all about, do the hokey cokey. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but basically just have patience with growth and things don't grow overnight. You know, if you plant a seed, you're not gonna check it every single second, to check if it's grown. You've got to leave it alone and you've got to wait for it to grow. So the part of you is growing and it's kind of having patience with that. So I don't feel like, for some of you it is actually more internal in terms of your patience. So you could be more becoming, want to become more patient with your mental health with your own, I'm hearing your own sanity, which sounds very intense, but I do feel like there is definitely a big step happening with this group. Um, and it feels like a big mental growth. And this is a very big step for you guys. So once you've gotten through this, you're gonna manifest um, some physical abundance as well. So the next Oracle card out is Chaos on Conflict. And we also have Remember Your Worth. So I feel like for you guys, you're going through quite a lot of conflict. Um, this isn't a bad thing because I feel like it is quite intense. Like I do feel an intensity from this group. So you're obviously going through something that's quite intense, but I feel like it's nothing to really worry about. Okay. So with this, remember your worth It's basically saying to really focus on what it is that you want out of this situation and keep coming back to yourself. And I got a channel message today while I was out and I got a channel message to make a bracelet, like a specific bracelet with a specific crystal on it. And this crystal is really good for self-worth. It's really good for remembering your self-worth. So if you guys want to get this crystal, um, just let me know. I can get that done for you. It's going to be Garnet. Garnet is such a good crystal for love as well. So a lot of you guys are, I feel like, focusing on your love life in this group. I feel like you're really concentrating on other people's problems and not your own. And 33 is a massive, massive step. Okay, that's also the number six. So this is about creativity. It's about you growing. It's about you coming into your own and really remembering what it is that you're doing this for and who you're doing it for as well. And I feel like it's really you just remembering who you are at the core and understanding that everything that you're, you're doing is for a purpose, okay? This patience is right in the center of all of this. So it's really dealing with your emotions, but once you get out of it, it's gonna be frigging great, okay? So let's see what else is happening for you guys in August. I'm actually picking up on September as well. So this is most likely gonna be for those of you in, uh, for those of you who are um, thinking about September as well. So it's in the reverse. Okay, so this guy here, the Empress, this is very much to do with the energy that I'm picking up on. So the fact that we have got Remember Your Worth and the Empress, this is showing me for you guys that you're really wanting to, you're really needing to focus on your Empress energy, okay? And this is about you stepping into your feminine power, gender neutral, whether you're a female or a male. This is you stepping into your power and really um, giving growth and, and blossoming into something that's really going to suit you. So keep focusing on your path and not other people's paths. And it's basically just keep coming back to yourself over and over again. Keep coming back to yourself. And the three of cups, you go, you go, <laughs> what? You could have your friends to help you with this situation as well. Um, and also talking to your friends, like that could be a really big thing for you. 
where it comes to actually opening up and being vulnerable, that could be quite a big thing, a big step for you. So just being patient with yourself and knowing that you are getting balance, just as it's all about balance, it can be about patience as well. And you are getting balance to what for what you want, okay? You are getting balance, you are gonna get there. And I think it's just really focusing on the end goal and knowing that everything that you're doing is for a reason. And you are worth all of this. You are worth a relationship. You are worth good relationships and money and abundance and happiness. It's just you're shedding your old skin, okay? And with this, this is so interesting. I never really thought about it like this, but they're telling me that um, you may have put a mask on in front of other people so you can blend in and so you can be who they want you to be or who you think they want you to be. And you're really shedding that now. And that's a big step. That's a really big step, especially becoming comfortable with that. And I feel like you guys who chose this group are going for a very deep and intense um, realisation. But it's beautiful. You know, it's sparkly and blue. So it's, it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful transformation. Um, and it's just being really mindful that this is all for a reason. And the Empress is also re representing the world. And you do have the Three of Cups and the... The Empress is representing the number three and Justice is two. So there is definitely a lot of synchronicities for you guys. So look out for the synchronicities that are coming towards you as well. Okay, so let's do some charms. I've got my little Buddhas here and I keep channeling Buddha. Like <laughs> that energy of Buddha keeps coming in while I'm doing these readings. So let's shake this up. Shake it, shake shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake. Okay. I'm going to do just a few. I don't want to do too many today. Maybe a bit more than that. Okay. So, first one that's really pointing out to me is this Pisces charm, okay? So, I feel like for you guys, you're really connecting in with your intuition. Learn to trust your intuition. Learn to trust your own emotions and know that those are valid. I'm just going to zoom you in, guys, so you can see the charms a bit better. We then have this unraveled rose. So, this always reminds me that things are unraveling and kind of you are getting to this place of transformation here and the angels and your guides are helping you and are, yeah, they are helping you with this situation. So just be very, very patient with this. And with this Friday and Saturday, um, these are normally the dates that, the days that people enjoy themselves the most. They are off work, you know, they're looking forward to the end of the week. So make sure to be present in the moment and it is quite unhealthy to keep constantly looking forward to something in your future and not being present in the, in the, in the present. So I feel like with August, I feel like it is going to be a really good month, but I think you have got some um, shedding to do. And once you do shed, you will come back as this rose again formed beautifully with a new colour and more vibrant, you know. Um, and you also have the letter G. So that could be your um, name, that could be a street, it could be a dog's name I'm hearing. Um, and we have number two as well. So that is going to be significant. That's you probably to the relationship or duality, that kind of thing. This marble always reminds me of the world. So I feel like you guys are really starting something new. I think it is quite a slow month for you guys in terms of like physical manifestations. But this is going to be an extremely important month because you're going to be really delving deep into your emotions. And as much as you want to travel, I do see things travel coming in with travel. You could meet somebody abroad. Um, if, if lockdown kind of sorts itself out, um, you could. But I feel like if it doesn't, you're going to be talking to somebody abroad and kind of talking about hanging out, especially those of you who are in France. And we have the Pegasus and we also have the Angels. So um, these are both kind of very mystical um strong entities and this you this uh pegasus is about flight it's about freedom it's about just going forward doing what you want so i feel like you are you're really focused on what you want i feel like you guys know what you want you guys are really kind of you you know what you want okay and i feel like it is coming towards you i think it is just patience and going into that darker part of you to kind of get the good stuff out and this is a very big step for you guys. I'm not feeling that it's easy, but it's a fucking amazing situation for you guys. This is so important for your growth and you're going to really um, impress some people. And I think if you haven't seen anybody for a long time, I think once you come out of this, people aren't going to recognize the old you and you're going to be shedding a lot of old toxic relationships. And this is very strange, but it's showing me like here, there's like a rabbit face. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's like a wing. So it's kind of like you're transforming from two different animals. And that's kind of like this with the zebra and the giraffe as well. So let's get your dice. I'm going to zoom you out again. 
Okie dokie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get your dice. Let's see. All right. Yes, we have Mars and Aries, which is literally what's happening right now. We then have the seventh house, which is about relationships. So you could be manifesting a relationship with an Aries. Your relationships are going to start taking off because you're starting to understand yourself. The universe is like, okay, they're ready for their relationship now. So those of you who are single, get ready for a relationship. Those of you who are already engaging with somebody or in a partnership, um, massive forward movement for you guys as well. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this reading. And if you want to get a private reading, all the information is down below. My rates do differ. Sometimes I do sales and things like that. So uh, just message me on Instagram or email if you're inquiring about a reading. I also have a crystal store down below. I sell crystal jewelry and crystals. So thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. So for group number two, I feel like you guys are really channeling the uh, element of peace. I'm feeling a lot of peace from this stone. And I feel like you guys are really tapping into your feminine energy. And as I'm touching this, my heart chakra is doing something. So massive amount of heart energy for you guys. And I'm hearing unconditional love. So you're learning to love yourself. You're learning to love others unconditionally. And especially those of you who um, have been dealing with toxic relationships, you're learning to deal with, with those emotions. And those things are going to start coming up. But you're going to start realizing, actually, I did what I needed to do in that moment. And I'm really proud of myself for getting through that. So August for you guys. We have appreciation, sunflower. I love sunflowers. I think they're so pretty. Um, they're so perfect as well. Like nature is so amazing. So the sunflower is reminding me of the sun card. And this is for you guys. Growth um, doesn't come easy, but it is natural, you know. So for those of you who are wanting to, are kind of growing out of your old shell. You're kind of growing out of your old self and you're probably possibly growing out of your home as well. You're wanting to move, you could um, wanting to travel as well. So August is gonna have a lot of elements of travel um, in different ways, obviously with the restrictions. And with the appreciation here, it's showing you that also to, to appreciate how freaking far you've come and how amazing you are, like how amazing of a human being that you are, that, you're a, that you are a spiritual being in a, blooming like biological moving body that can go anywhere on this planet which is freaking insane when you think about it so just really appreciate those things and really shifting your perspective because we can get suckered into the human human mind you know we can really get suckered into that and it can be really hard for us to actually separate from our worth and, and understanding our worth because we forget sometimes um, very similar to group number one, actually, you have this like very dark element here. So there's definitely some sort of shadows that are being kind of triggered, but just really be present in the moment and know that those things that you're really touching on are important and are worth um, looking into. And also, um, I worked on my emotions yesterday in, in, in a way that I haven't done for a long time. And I said the saying, the Hawaiian saying, it goes, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. And it's such a good, it's such a good quote. I also say, to say if I was feeling sad, I would say, um, I acknowledge part of me feeling sad and that's okay and I forgive myself. And that's just, those sort of things are really going to help you, some of you guys, I feel. And um, I have a video on uh, emotional fitness coaching on my channel as well. I'll try and link it down below if I remember. All right, so we then have Tiger's Eye, Overcoming Your Fears. So quite a similar colour to the Sunflower. And then we also have Unfinished Symphony. So this is very, very in empowering, I feel. Okay. I'm going to just give you the tea. Unfinished symphony and overcoming your fears feels very much like you've still got some stuff to work on. But I feel like for you guys, it's kind of like you're moving forward, but you're also overcoming your fears. So I feel like for you guys, you're more into the material element now, I feel. I feel like for those of you who chose group number one, or um, if you were thinking about choosing group number one, I feel like Group number one was more about the emotional. You're more about both physical and emotional and you're really channeling um, those fears. So you can, you're can you starting to manifest that physical elements, so whether it be a job, love, um, relationship, like money, just something that you're, you're gaining from all of the work that you've been doing, okay? And also appreciating what you have now. Yeah, exactly. We have love coming in and we have you kind of really looking into that part of you yeah exactly this is exactly what i'm picking up on this is crazy so in the middle we have that dark element that i was talking about this is the shadows okay 
This is so cool, this reading, because it's showing how freaking powerful you guys are. Um, it's basically showing you that you're manifesting all this emotional positivity and all this ma physical manifestation to do with balance, to do with, um, I'm hearing equ equity, I hope that's the right word, and equality as well. I don't know what equity means, it's just come up in my intuition. Hopefully it's a good word. And um, I feel like for you guys, also I feel like with this, I'm channeling like, a lot of like energy from this crystal that this this um pic this person's wearing here so i feel like you guys might be wearing crystals more as well not to promote my own crystal so shop but i'm gonna put it in there anyway <laughs> link down below <laughs> okay <laughs> so um yeah so i feel like for you guys the more you work on this the more you work on that part of you that's 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 really causing you a lot of confusion and pain you're moving forward so well like you're doing the work and the universe is really seeing that. And August, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be meeting your soulmate. If you're single, you could be meeting your soulmate, okay? For those of you who are not wanting a relationship or are in, already in partnership, you're manifesting more and more um, love and duality between the feminine and the masculine. And I really, really love this because with a chariot, this kind of reminds me of the feminine and the masculine as well. And you're learning to balance your emotions on both sides as well. And um, like almost like you're you're understanding yourself in a more deeper level therefore you're able to help yourself more especially with your um darker sides you're learning to just have peace with that and forgive yourself and i just went out of my body and came back in that was <clears throat> an, an experience sometimes i do that i do it very rarely haven't done that for a very long time so you might be getting that as well so just be aware of that like sometimes i'll think myself out of my body it's it's not a fun experience i'm not gonna lie to you um <laughs> but it is interesting all righty so Charm time. <laughs> okay, let's get you some charm. I'm seeing a house in the number 10. So you guys are really completing something. Really completing and moving forward. I'm hearing, let's get it. Let's get it. Okie dokie. So let's see what we have. We have Monday and we have Thursday. So these could be significant days in this month we have this little girl and she's wearing like a little no she's not wearing a cap I thought she was but she's just her hair looks like a cap so I feel like you're focusing more on your feminine energy you're focusing on your um inner child I don't think I've ever got this moon before maybe I have but I don't remember um this is the emotional subconscious so you're really learning to focus on that and working with your emotions we have a seashell we also have this little uh, seahorse guy. So this reminds me of water signs. So you could be a water sign, also manifesting a water sign. We have two butterflies that are different. So butterflies could be coming up as a very significant um, symbol for you. So just keep, be aware of that. Also cats, we have cats twice. So you could be um, finding a feminine friend, especially if you are a female, you could be manifesting another female friend. Um, I feel like with this shell, it kind of reminds me of a pearl, like a pearl should be in there. So I feel like you're unlocking a lot of good stuff. Um, thinking about travel and um, somebody you might meet overseas, um, obviously with restrictions going on, it's a bit difficult, but it will be online, I feel like most of all. Um, and money's gonna be very good for you. Money's gonna be really, really good for you in um, August. And you're gonna be getting like a windfall of money, like really randomly. You might be finding money kind of on the street as well. And your um, intuition is gonna be very, very heightened this month. We then have the um, the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, um, which says optimistic, and it's funny how we have appreciation and optimism and appreciation are very similar emotions. So I feel like the more um, you appreciate what's going on, I feel like we're just going to flow this month. I feel like things are going to flow. I don't feel like any jagged edges with this uh, with this energy. It feels very like smooth and flowing, very much like this here. It kind of reminds me of Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. I don't know why, but it, it does. Um, I love Nintendo, I'm a big nerd, just to let you know. If anyone else is a Nintendo nerd, just uh, hit me up in the comments, okay? Um, and also, with this Unfinished Symphony, music could be very, very, um, very like, um, healing for you. I feel like very, very healing. And I'm seeing you guys playing a piano, so you may be getting a piano or a keyboard or the drums, something random, okay? But I feel like it's going to be very, very healing for you guys, okay? So let's have a look and see what else is coming towards you. All right, we have Taurus, we have the third house, and we also have the uh, north node. So, sorry, south node, south node. All right, so we have Taurus. So I feel like for you guys, 
you are um, possibly getting some messages from a Taurus. Um, possibly, uh, sorry guys, I'm like thinking about things right now. So a Taurus is coming in, I feel like, um, also money manifestations. And my jaw is really, really hurting all of a sudden. So I feel like you might get a bit of jaw pain. That could be also communicating. You might want to communicate or having trouble communicating and really getting things out. So just be aware of that and really just be very, very gentle with yourself. Don't push yourself. If you don't feel like you have to, don't do it. I feel like this month is a very good month for peace and just calmness. But if you want to go for it, just go for it. And know that the things you want, you're able to do them for yourself. You know, if you, you can do them and it all starts with you, okay? So thank you so much for uh, watching, guys. If you want to purchase a private reading, all my information is down below. My rates do differ. I have sales and things like that. So if you want to message me um, or Instagram, message me or email, let me know. Also, if you want to check out my crystal chop, chop, <laughs> wow, crystal shop, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys in August. We have this beautiful jade crystal. This is all about self-love. This is also to do with Taurus. So uh, this is a very good protection crystal for Taurus. So if you're a Taurus, that's a very good crystal for you guys. Also, you could be connected with the Taurus or Taurus energy could just be very healing for you in the month of August. Um, also connected with nature is going to be very, very healing for you. And possible just, I feel like your heart is starting to initiate some more kind of important messages so re-listen to your heart and know that the more you're opening it the more um things are coming towards you and you're kind of really realizing a lot of things about yourself and your journey all right bravery exactly we have oak leaves so this is very much to do with connecting with nature i feel like this is a very very grounded energy and i feel like the more grounded you can be the more i mean normally the more grounded we are the more we can kind of handle situations okay so Groundedness is going to be very, very important. I feel like you're starting to reap the rewards of what you've been, what seeds you've been planting. I'm actually hearing the seeds you planted actually last year around September time. So about a year, roughly a year ago, um, something might have happened. And I feel like you could have um, really, you're really starting to recover from that and really starting to learn from it. And especially if it was to do with a male or to do with a relationship as well, okay? Um so with this energy, a relationship doesn't have to be a romantic one. It can be friendship or family as well. Um, so you're really starting to like climb the ladder in some way. So it could be emotionally, it could be financially. But I feel like this, where this dragon's kind of like going upwards, it is definitely reaching towards your goals. Like you're really reaching to where you're actually wanting to go and you're starting to see results. I feel green is very important for this group as well and purple. Purple always reminds me of amethyst. So you could really like the crystal of amethyst too. All right, so we have, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I, I don't choose, I don't, I don't deliberately choose these cards. That's okay. Right, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, thanks. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> I just need to like compose myself because I was not expecting that. All right, and then we have chop wood, which this card always annoys me and I'm not a massive fan of it, but it's here. So we're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull you another card because I don't really like that card. I'm, not, I'm never a massive fan of that one. I never get, yeah, and then I always get this card afterwards. So we're gonna pull another one. <laughs> I'm like really going against my guides right now, but I'm, I'm just up for it, okay? I need to. There we go, that is why. Okay, so now I've got more info. We then have no place like home. So I feel like for you guys, for a lot of you guys, you have a um, very intense uh, connection with your home. And I feel like it could be quite a negative connection as well. You could like really want to move as well. So it's going to be different for all of you guys, but I feel like you're going to want to move this month. Um, maybe you might not do it, but I feel like you're going to want to. This situation here is calling you to just be very um, aware of how you're interacting in your daily life. And I need to burp. So that's the message. Um, <laughs> normally I burp when it's a clarification and I'm hearing sirens as well. 
So I feel like for you guys, um, you could be a Scorpio watching this as well. I'm a Scorpio and I always, when I watch my, when I watch Scorpio readings on YouTube, there's always a siren that goes off with Scorpio readings. It's very intense and weird and I love it, but it's crazy. Um, <laughs> so for you guys, it's learning to just breathe through these emotions. Um, it might be quite kind of boring in some aspects, but life is going to be like that. It fluctuates up and down. And the reason why I don't like that chalkboard card is because it just basically says, to be okay with daily routines and I don't really like that so my take on it is the fact that sometimes it is boring okay sometimes life is freaking boring and it's okay but outward out of that comfort zone is something that you could be working towards so you, I feel like you guys might get an intuitive hit of something that could help you this month in terms of manifesting your dreams or you might be get, getting guided to like turn so say if you're like I'm hearing like an indicator going on like in a car um, I'm hearing you guys like switching the indicator and going left instead of right and there's a Doctor Who episode that's so creepy on this but it's a really good episode so if you like Doctor Who you will know what I'm talking about if you don't then you won't know what I'm talking about but basically it's saying that you take one turn that's different and it can change your life basically so taking small steps in the right direction is a very very good thing to do and um yeah, I feel like trusting your intuition is very, very important. And if you're struggling this month with things that are coming up that are new and you're like, I don't know what to do. I need to trust my intuition. The best thing for you to do is to take a deep breath in, deep breath out and breathe. And I did not realise we had the breathe card. I literally just saw that. So, um, <laughs> so I feel like for you guys, it's just slowing down and just retaking some deep breaths, grounding into the earth, doing some grounding meditations um, and also being around nature and trees especially will really help you and sitting on the grass sitting on the grass is going to be very important for you as well okay so let's see what else we have we have the six of wands beautiful we then have the sun yes queen we have the queen of cups yes queen <laughs> we have the ten of cups and we also have the world right you guys are really kicking everything into high gear which is very 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 good i like this group very much so the six of wands it's like i always see this as somebody who is wanting to be an actress an actor um, a star somebody who wants to get recognition you're going to get recognition in some form okay it can be in many forms it can be you'd be like i don't want to be famous or anything like that it doesn't have to mean fame it could mean that say you want to get that promotion or you want to get um, enough money to purchase something or you want to get recognized by that person you're really interested in i see you getting recognition in the best way that's going to suit your highest good so if um getting famous is for your highest good that will happen if if happiness for what you do right now is for your highest good then that will happen you know and if it's not for your highest good then it then it may be um you may get shifted into a different direction but it doesn't mean it's not going to happen so I feel like you're, you're going to have a lot of happiness this month. I feel like you're going to be very, very happy and feel very, very content. And I feel like it's because you're not attaching yourself to anything in particular, which is very, very healthy. I feel that's a very, very healthy, very healthy thing. And also, the more healthy you're getting, the more you're manifesting a relationship. So if you're wanting a relationship and you are single, I see that coming in for you guys. I see somebody recognising how happy you are and how content you are, this beautiful queen energy, whether you be a female or a male. Um, this is so, so positive and... I feel like music is going to be very, very um, cleansing for you. And also maybe putting some water in a sound bowl as well and using it that way. I think that'll be really, really um, healing for you. And we do have water here as well. So I just feel like water is very healing. And I'm getting the element of like a frog um, turning into a prince. <laughs> so it, and I'm getting like a frog analogy of um, a frog going from a tadpole to a frog. So I feel like it's like transformation isn't always pretty, but it's so f freaking worth it. It's, it's meant to happen and you're going to get all the stages that you're meant to be going through are are meant to happen. They're meant to be there so you can get to where you're going. And if you didn't do those things, you wouldn't be able to manifest that thing because obviously you need to learn this some sort of things to get where you're going to go. So hope that makes sense. Um, and I'm also connecting with this, um, this woman here. She's kind of wearing like a tail, like a tail thing on her necklace and kind of reminds me of mermaids as well. So that could be a big synchronicity for you guys. Um, and the world is brand new start. It's a, it's a brand new start. So I'm going to grab um, another tarot card. And I'm going to um, choose a couple more tarot cards for you guys. Because I'm really getting drawn to pull some more tarot. Let's see what's after the world. Let's see what's after the world. Let's see what's after the world. 
Yes. Okay. 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 I am not mad. I am not mad. I am not mad at all. I am fully happy with that. Oh, okay. Okay. Lots of fiery energy. So you could be a fire sign manifesting a fire sign it could be a you could be manifesting a um male fire sign or you're going to be manifesting just a fire sign like a partnership if you want if you're single and you're attracted to fire signs or that is something that you're interested in i do see that coming in for you guys look look how happy she is like she's just in her own element and look how much those two would go really well together so and you don't even notice that this person's coming in because it's like so natural um, I'm hearing the song Pure and Simple. Um, I love that song. People saying, you're driving you crazy. And I haven't been around for you lately. That song. Um, I don't know. Let me think of the lyrics. Um, I'm hearing, wherever you go, I want to be there whatever you do. I'm going to be there as pure and simple. I'll be there for you. <laughs> So cringe, but I love it. It's so cringy. Okay, we then have the magician and we have the two of swords. Okay, I'm gonna stop pulling cards now. Right. So that is so beautiful. We have the devil in the reverse, which is yes, you stay like that. So <laughs> I actually really like the devil card, but in this in this session right now, not a fan. Um, and I'm very happy with it being in the in the reverse position. So this is showing me that you guys are gonna be unlocking a massive part of you. And I feel like the color red is a very significant color. It's like massive, massive expression. And I'm hearing suppression turned into expression. Very, very, wow, I love that. Um, so massive amount of new energy coming in for you guys. I'm so glad, this is just so powerful. I love all this fiery energy, I'm fully lapping it up. Um, and the magician coming in to show you that there's new things coming in for you. And the magician's always a new start. It's kind of like new things manifesting. I feel like things are just literally gonna manifest out of midair. Um, and you might think, wow, Vicky, that, that hasn't happened for me in years. They're just saying, just freaking wait and see. Okay, let's give this a good shaky, shaky. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I want to get lots of little charms in this group. All right. Okay, so we have this beautiful little charm. Oops. <laughs> this beautiful charm with this rainbow so that is like pure happiness i always see that as kind of like the sun card it's very happy and we did have this ten of cups with a rainbow on it as well we have the pisces uh little pisces charm we have monday that could be a very significant day um we also have the uh capricorn symbol which says ambitious so you could be very ambitious and intuitive this month and we did have the we have this crystal i'm pretty sure um yeah so absolutely beautiful and things are unraveling for you guys like new things are coming in and i feel like for you guys we do have like a butterfly like like three times and that's 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 really crazy so i feel like you're going to be a big influence for other people this month um and really helping people on their journey we have the letters s m and g um and I feel like we have the clover as well. So very, very lucky, very much in your empress energy. And this always reminds me of oh, Pisces and water signs. So that's really great. <clears throat> we have the um, this cat here. So you could be um, very much connected with your feminine energy and feeling very poised this month. I feel like very much in control. And we have the dolphin here where you're kind of need to be more playful. Um, we also have the crown. This is actually reminding me of like a king more than a queen. Um, but I think it's both as well. So I feel like for you guys, you're going to most likely be manifesting your partner. Obviously, it's going to be different for everyone. But if you are thinking that you're most likely going to be attracted to a Pisces or a Capricorn or a fire sign, then this is the group for you. And if not, no worries. That's totally fine. Obviously, this is a general reading. It's going to manifest for different people in different ways. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look at your dice. Let's see what we have. All right, we have Jupiter, fourth house, Taurus. So definitely something around your home is changing. Um, you could be actually starting to move. You could be seeing signs of moving house. Um, and also you're becoming much more comfortable with where you're at. You're starting to appreciate your the comfortability more. And also you're you might be moving work as well. Like your work might be moving uh, location. 
and that might be having to change up where you live as well because you're having to move nearer work or something like that it feels like you're shifting with the tide and it's very very amazing i just feel like new things are happening for you guys in august and i'm so excited to see what's going to happen for you guys so thank you so much for watching if you would like a private reading all my information is down below um and also let me just say i love this crown analogy metaphor thingy like it's on fire like that's so cool because with the queen of cups in this deck she also has a crown but it's made of water it's so cool um so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and if you want to check out my jewelry store that's down below as well thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading uh, let's see what's happening for you guys in August. So we have this beautiful amethyst crystal. It's so, so pretty. It's got some beautiful shimmeriness in it. So I feel like for you guys, intuition is going to be very important for the month of um, August. I feel like it's going to be very important for you to just take your time with yourself and be very gentle with yourself and um, remember to treat yourself and life can get on top of you sometimes. So Doing small things can actually lead up to something very big and can actually make you feel very um, comfortable in the moment. All right, so we have dreams. I love this card, it's so pretty. Um, so the Royal Fern. So I feel like with you guys, you're more um, of the dreamy energy this month. I feel like dreams is gonna be very, very important for you guys. And this could be having a dream journal. It could be that you have some dreams that you kind of think of that actually there's something that I wanna get. Maybe you, you think, actually, I want to manifest a house. Maybe I want to manifest a car. Maybe I want to manifest just happiness. And you're really focusing on your internal energy and what it is that you want and focusing in on that. We then have building blocks. I really like the colour yellow as well in this. Um, kind of reminds me of my citrine bracelet I'm wearing. I sell these on my store, so just to let you know. Link down below. <laughs> um, and we also have, if I can grab it, angel light. Support is all around you. So for you guys, you might be feeling a little bit too internal this month. You may be thinking, actually, no one's really going through the same thing as me. So I don't really want to bother anyone. Like, maybe I should leave people alone. And this is just your ego talking to you and saying, look, it's trying to protect you. And Angelite is a very, very beautiful crystal. Um, Angelite is so, so gentle. And it's very, very um, good for, like, connecting with your guides. So if you're struggling with connecting with your guides, this is going to be a really good opportunity for you to do that. And this building blocks here is showing me that you are manifesting your dreams. It's just one step at a time. Like not everything's going to rush in all at once. And I said in another group for this reading, I said that once you plant a seed, you're not going to be checking it every single second for it to grow. Growth comes naturally and growth comes eventually. So it's like you just got to keep calm and carry on. And um, also just focusing on the fact that you will manifest what it is that you want. It's just, it's just taking your time with it, okay? And knowing that, you will get what you want. It's just one step at a time. And um, yeah, that's very important. All right. So first card out, we have the King of Cups. He is the, in the upright. I love that because we had the Queen of Cups for another group as well. Ooh, we have another man. Hi, man. <laughs> and then we also have the two of oh, such a Scorpio and the two of wands. All right. So um, first of all, you could be manifesting a person into your life, especially if you are attracted to men. I'm seeing there's a key of cups and the king of swords. There's some sort of situation with a, with a Cancerian or an Aquarius here. It could also be Pisces, Scorpio, um, who else? Gemini, Libra as well. Um, you could be meeting this person from quite far away and they could be like the person of your dreams, you know. Um, and there's somebody who's ready to support you. It could be a water sign or an air sign who wants to support you and let, let them support you. So... Two of Wands is showing me that you need to just kind of stay, take a step back from what's going on. Um, and sometimes things can get very overwhelming. And to, try not to use escapism as a way to kind of escape your problems. So it can be an addiction. It can be um, napping too much. And obviously this is not out. Of our, this is kind of out of our control. Sometimes we need to do these things to really help ourselves. So obviously you, you, do, you do what you need to do. But also make sure to really, um, when you're ready approach your emotions and say what is it that I need um, and I feel like for you guys your masculine is also starting to balance out and become more emotional which is so so good because it means that you guys are balancing out both sides of you and the the kind of rough edges of you the kind of like the anger or the jealousy I feel like that's starting to kind of like smooth out you're starting to really forgive yourself and learn to love yourself for having those emotions. And all those emotions are sacred. They're meant to happen. You're meant to have those sort of emotions so you can 
you know, we're meant to experience all these emotions being a human being on this planet. So um, I do feel like for you guys, guidance is going to come through animals, uh, crows, bats, dragonflies, owls, starfish, um, moths, that sort of thing. Um, but I feel like for you guys, you could even just be manifesting somebody who's around you, who's a water sign, who just really supports you. And I feel like there's somebody here who's very intellectual as well. Is This could be you also, but it feels like you're seeking support from this person. And they have a very strong outlook on life. They have a very strong outlook. Um, and I'm hearing seagulls as well. So they could be somebody who lives near the beach or you could live near the beach. All right. So let's see what your charms are for this month, for August. I'm hearing um, Fast Car, that song tra Fast Car. Is it Tracy Chapman? If it's not Tracy Chapman, then I do apologise. There's been so many covers of Fast Car. This person that you're connected to could also have a Fast Car as well. I'll try and get some star signs. There we go. I asked and I received. Okay. So, we have letters O and B. Ob. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, you guys. So, Wednesday is also a good day for you guys. We have the owl. And I did say look out for owls. So, that's very significant. None of the other groups have had these charms. Um, all right, so we have Leo, we have Aries, and um, we also have the, the horse. So yeah, looking out for animals and um, feathers as well. You have a little crown. So really connecting to your feminine energy and knowing that you're the boss. You know, you can do these things. You can manifest your dreams and just really asserting yourself. Love is going to come in this month as well. I feel for some of you guys um, in terms of romantic love, could be friendship love as well. But just also love is around you. Like I feel like you'll learn to balance out your relationships um, you'll really learn to um, focus on your shadows and therefore manifest beautiful relationships. And then we have this little fishy. So um, that could be Pisces energy, but also finding um, like a pearl in the bottom of the ocean, kind of like a, a diamond in the rough, like needle in a haystack kind of situation. So finding something out of something that's confusing. So maybe you're clearing out your loft or something and then you find like a treasure or something like that. We then have the mermaid as well. So she's very much kind of reminds me of Sirens. And how they kind of like, um, you know, like sirens at sea. They kind of like lure people in. This is kind of reminding me that like a message is going to kind of like be, be kind of repeating for you over and over again. So um, listen to that. Listen to that intuition. And we also have this little gold bead here. And this kind of reminds me of a bracelet. So you might be manifesting like um, jewellery that you've wanted for a very long time. That quite, could be quite expensive. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is very, very positive And... I feel like with this rose here as well, I mean, purple isn't normally a classic colour for a rose. I mean, it can be red or pink. So I feel like for you guys, you could be doing something differently this month where where, <laughs> where you are um, really manifesting a lot out of it because you've done something different. Whereas you, you may have thought, oh, I don't need to do that. Actually, you could get something out of it that's maybe you're going somewhere different and you actually find out something really cool um, or you just, yeah, discover something new. Keep hearing the song fast car you got the fast car we actually have a car here as well like a um a volkswagen van okay so we have fourth house aries we then have mercury as well so oops so i feel like for you guys um you could have those within your chart but also this kind of reminds me of the fact that um you're working on your home there could be things that you're working on within your home you could be changing a lot of stuff up and aries have a lot of energy so you could be constantly like changing things um mercury is about communication as well so um, with this being in Aries, it means that you're going to be probably talking to quite a few people this month um, and kind of conversing. I'm hearing community. I'm hearing compassion. I'm hearing the word kind of like conversing. So you could be um, conversing to like real estate agents about moving house. Um, you could be just talking about things that you want to accomplish within your passion. You could just be very passionate this month. Um, and I feel like for some of you guys, you could actually be starting a podcast or something to do with your speech and excitement. So it can be like, a YouTube video, it could be um, just talking about what you're really passionate about and sharing that with other people. And it could mean that you start a new hobby to do with speech. It could be like writing or it could be um, making speeches. It could be making poems, uh, working on like a, um, like a script, something like that. Um, but you could be creating a novel as well. I feel I need to just pull a couple more tarot cards for you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. All 
Alright, so we have the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. So you could be realising something that really hurt you. This is making me feel like you're getting over that now. You're learning that actually that was just a part of you and you don't feel so intense about it anymore. Um, you feel like you can really handle your emotions. Get one more card. I'm seeing you guys very randomly. This is extremely random. I feel like I'm seeing some of you, most likely those of you who are quite young, so probably in your teens or early 20s. Um, I see you guys meeting up with a guy. So if you're a female wanting a male, this is specifically for you. Um, or a masculine wanting a feminine. I feel like I can see you guys sitting on their bed and like playing video games or something. And for some reason that's very important. So I just felt the need to kind of say that. Um, I feel like for those of you who are kind of have been going through a lot of intensity, um, you're releasing that now. And I feel like because you've got so much, you feel more like your self-worth is really coming into the forefront. You know, you're really manifesting that Empress energy. And because you're focusing on your work and what you're passionate about, you have no time for like unwanted emotions that are really controlling. You're really focusing on yourself and focusing what it is on what it is that you want. And Aries energy coming in very strongly, like really communicating your work, your truth and being very passionate about it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. If you would like to check out my crystal shop, all that information is also down below. And I'll speak to you soon. Have a lovely day. Bye.